Agitator sitting in lane one. You're going to have the Calypso two and three. No, excuse me, in two. In three, you'll have Annie's Dodge, at least I'm assuming that, but no, the uh, Marion Bluegrass is going to pull into the third slot. But we're two, one, Mark, we are running here. Vinny Trigger plays. <laughs> and it's about time for Tim Hamilton to start his uh, monthly workout here as he'll start wrestling that Annie's Dodge through the lower corner. But what a beautiful sight here. Uh, just a glorious morning and early afternoon here on Moses Lake in eastern Washington. Meanwhile, off the corner, that Fred Ricketts design agitator. Boy, you could just, yeah, you got two boats right there, right out front. And uh, we're going to get the Marion Bluegrass right there. You're going to have all three of them here in a minute. You see the Calypso 2 come by there. He's on the outside in lane number two. Trust me, there's a whole lot of yellow just out to his right. You're going to see it real quick. There he comes. Meanwhile, look up there. Look at look at Tim Hamilton just horse that. And he's died through the corner. They both leaping and jumping. And you kind of get the sense there because you see once uh, once Tim gets that Annie's Dodge straightened out, boat runs real well. And he's going to fight it down there in the corner. Got to love the show there that the guys driving the Agitator and driving the Calypso 2 are putting on out there. We're not seeing how fast we can go out here. Trust me, the amount of work, time, effort, money that goes into rebuilding and restoring one of these things, you do not want to come out here and break something. So they're out here putting on a show, but we're not racing real hard here. These two boats have been tied together since they got out on the water. Agitator and Calypso too. Comes Tim driving that Cadillac. Again, for our new fans, we're talking vintage boats here, but have to uh, also at the same time understand that we've got some fans here that have maybe, this is their first time looking at hydroplane racing and we talk about conventional boats and cab over boats and small and large and all this good kind of stuff and different classes. We have many different classes of inboard race boats here this weekend. It was the same back in the day, back in the 50s and the 60s and even before that. As the Marion Bluegrass comes across the line. But when we talk about conventional and cab over boats, if you look at the three boats that are up in the upper corner here, the two that are coming off the exit pin right now, the Agitator and the Calypso 2, these are what we call conventional hydroplanes. Conventional in the sense that the driver sits behind the motor. We talk conventional, that's what we're talking about. Now contrast that to Tim Hamilton here, who comes down in the Annie Stodge. Notice he is sitting up front, in front of the engine. That is what we refer to as a cab over. White flag goes up, one more to go. Never ceases to amaze me when we put vintage boats out on the race course. The pit areas always stop. No matter where we are, if we're at an H1 event or we're over here at Moses Lake, the pit area always gets real quiet. Everybody finds a way over to come watch. I see everybody up above watching and over here on the grass at the edge of the water. Everybody wants to see these vintage boats. There's a little bit of each one of these boats in all of us. Due to our age, some more than others, but here we go. When you put a full tank of gas in it, it runs real well. Yeah, yes, amazingly it does. 
He's looking better every heat he runs. He's getting smoother and smoother and smoother. It's just a great looking boat. Thanks for bringing it over here and running it. Let's do this more often. <laughs> well, we're going to do it almost every race as far as we're concerned. We, want, we plan to run it. We plan to have it at every race we can. Well, a we just enjoy this wonderful course and the marvelous weather they're giving us today. We couldn't be better. You couldn't say it any better than that. Thanks, Earl. Have a good run. All right. Agitator, Calypso 2 come across. They, too, get the checkered flag. Where's, where's Tim? Here he is. Tim gets a checkered flag driving to Annie's Dodge. Wow. That's just some kind of cool.